quarterback and him being as part of the defense, as much a part of the defense as what you were? I think the first game, you know, you always get a bit of nerves out and what you know and whatnot. But um, positive, positive, you know, for our whole team, defense especially. To see them guys out there fly around having fun. You know, it's, it's really exciting. We got a lot more games left, so, you know, a lot of improvement at the end of the day. Marlon, well, last year, Ohio, you know, they try to hit you in the mouth in the run game, and then they, they go over the top. And they did have some success last year. What do you have to do to disrupt that group? Um, honestly, I feel like it falls in just, you know, our training, what we do day in, day out. Um, the run and stop is essential for the defense universally, but um, just for us in general, you know, they have fun, stopping the run all the way to the pad. So um, run is really important for this game. You know, allowing 20 points against Monmouth leaves a lot to be desired for this defense. What have you guys been fixing throughout these past couple of practices? Um, our small hiccups, you know, we have on defense and whatnot. Every team has them, but, you know, just pay attention to the small details. Um, these last two days, I feel like we really got down and down and, uh, solved those problems that we had. How did you feel to be named among the part of the starting defense prior to the game against Monmouth? I feel like it's just a testament to uh, the work I put in. Um, you know, all of the guys put in work for sure, but you know what I mean? Like, somebody got to start, you know. The depth chart for me not going to really matter matters anyways, because one guy come in, you got to have a neck that blah, blah, blah. Who <laughs> hmm? What were your feelings about this, about earning a starting job? Yeah. Um, it's a blessing for sure. Um, me personally, it's not really a starting thing for me because um, you know, we got guys, man. We got depth. You know, if one guy gets tired, doesn't come in. You know, mm -hmm. it's just so I don't really care where I start at, but you know, just be on the field with the guys at the end of the day. I feel like that's the most important thing about that. Only one sack came from the team against Monmouth, and that came from you. How did it feel to to have a major contribution to the defense in terms of getting that one sack and the couple of tackles he made throughout the game? It was exciting to say. That. But um, it, to do it um, with my teammates out there, with my guys, I, I, I honestly just felt like it was the best thing. You know, um, I, anybody could have sat out of the same way. You know, those are my guys out there. So, you know, any win for us is a win for me. And how optimistic are you about the defense's chances against Ohio's offense, considering the uh, their current condition at the moment with that their starting with their status of their starting quarterback in question? Our defense is just getting started, honestly. Not to worry about Ohio, more more so, you know, us beating us at the end of the day. We're getting stuff sharpened up in practice and be more confident day by day. You know, uh, any team out there, I got confidence in my guys. Me. Go get that ball. Cool. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Because of an injury, but when you watch that tape with your teammates, what are you guys going to have to do to have success against them this time around? We got to rush the passer and stop the run. Same with every game. But they got a very good quarterback. They got good receivers, but we got to stop the pass. What do you feel about the uh, defensive performance on Saturday? For game one, there's going to be mistakes. It's it's kind of how you respond to those mistakes. We did all right. We got a lot. We got a lot more to do. A lot of fine tuning the details to get where we want to be at. How much emphasis have you play? Have you guys placed on breaking the the opponent's offensive line and getting to the quarterback more frequently? Uh, how much emphasis have you guys put, placed on uh, breaking the opponent's offensive line and getting to the quarterback more frequently than you did against Monmouth? Uh, that's a big emphasis. We got to get to the quarterback version. They got a very talented quarterback here in NFL for us, so we have to get to him. We have to get to him. I feel like it's like playing babies up when we play Western Kentucky. Like, if we don't get to the quarterback, it's going to be a long game. And uh, what keys on Ohio's offense have you been trying to keep in check? I can tell you that. <laughs> Are there weaknesses in Ohio that you're looking to expose or exploit that you've seen from film from their past couple of games? Now, they're a solid team. They're good. They all are teams. They got to go out there and play, play our best game. Yeah. Thanks, Evan. Yep. First game was hurt. Didn't play last week. I'm sure you were expecting him to play. Having said that, with their, their other guys in there, they ran some speed option last week against Long Island. So mm -hmm. does that give you two very different styles to prepare for? Uh, a little bit. I mean, they um, they run some option with, with seven in there as well. So 
Uh, they may run the ball a little bit more with the other two guys that played last week and the week before, but he'll run the ball a little bit as well. So um, I don't know about two different game plans. You just have to know what to expect when each quarterback's in there. As far as uh, what you've got to do against Ohio, that you know, they're kind of a typical MAC team. They like to be physical. They like to hit you in the mouth, and at least in last year's game, run, 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 then hit you over the top. So what do you have to do to disrupt that? Yeah, uh, being at Buffalo for two years, we had two two battles with these guys. One came down on the last play of the game, and the other game they got us pretty good. So they're a big physical team. They play really hard, really sound. Um, so you know, kind of know what to expect in terms of that. But they. Um, they run the ball effectively. They have a great quarterback. They have really, really good receivers. So, uh, I mean, we're gonna have, our best is required on every play. Whether they're running the ball, throwing the ball, whatever it is, we, we're going to have to play really well on defense. Ohio's offense, they do have a running back who is in currently in the top 10 with total rushing yards. Obviously, a small sample size concern. They just played two games. But how important will it be to, to, to limit the, the yardage they gain with their rushing plays? Well, yeah. I mean, every game that we go into, our, the first goal we have is to stop the run. I mean, that's, that's number one. Because if, if you can't stop the run, then uh, you won't even have to stop the pass. Right? So we, we definitely have to stop the run. The run game can't be a factor. And then when they do throw the ball, we're going to have to play them very, very well in the back end and get pressure on the passer up front, the front four, uh, front three, and all that stuff. So we're going to have to play well. And speaking of stopping the run, uh, how would you describe how the run defense did against Monmouth in limiting their best running yeah, back in James Yeah, I, I was really pleased, really pleased with how we stopped the run against Monmouth. I mean, you're talking about the, one of the leading rushers in the country, and averaging 260-something yards a game on the ground. and. Um, you know, I'm not big into stats and all that, but the run game was not a factor. Um, so, really happy with how we stopped the run, but that doesn't mean anything this week. It's a different style of play, different players up front, different guy carrying the ball. So, you know, it resets every Monday. So, what we did last week means nothing when it comes to this week. Helen was just in here. Coach mentioned that he was, yesterday, he mentioned he was defensive player of the game. He's, how much do you need him to be a disruptor? Not necessarily making a lot of tackles but to disrupt what the offense is trying to do. That, that's a huge key. The, the front has to be disruptive. Um, and that, that means holding your gap, but it also means penetrating the line, creating a new line of scrimmage, maybe picking off a puller uh, when a guy's pulling. Um, you know, on that first third and short of the game, Evans, you know, three yards in the backfield, makes it a lot easier to stop a third and one run when, when you're setting a new line of scrimmage in their backfield. So, I mean, he's a big key to our run defense and, and uh, has to pressure the passer as well. So. Uh, but man, th those guys up front, they did a great job last week in the run game. How adjusted has the defense been when it comes to guarding the pass, the passing game, considering you guys? Well, I mean, you know, there, there's pluses and minuses to every coverage that we have. And, mm -hmm. you know, stopping the run was a big emphasis last week. So we, we I don't want to say we sold out to stop the run, but right. you're going to be a little bit more, your calls are going to be a little bit more um, aggressive to what they're doing in the run game because they were so run oriented. So, that exposes you a little bit in the past game. So, we're, we're, you know, you can't stop everything. If you stop everything, you stop nothing. And, uh, you know, we, we have to tighten up the uh, screws in, in, the, in the windows in the past game, make some plays on the ball a little bit better, um, and then just, you know, really rise to the challenge of stopping some really, really good receivers. FAU came up with their first win last week during their first game of the season. What about this defense excited you during that first game, and what are you looking forward to seeing against Ohio this week? That is a great question. I'm glad you asked that. The, the <laughs> biggest thing I was excited about with our defense was effort. We played really, really hard. Mm -hmm. So even when a guy messed something up, another guy was able to make up for his mistake. So our effort, if we play that hard every play all season long, we're going to be just fine. So I was really pleased with our effort. Uh, this week we're going to have to play as harder, harder. We have a better opponent coming in. Um, we're going to have to play hard for 60 minutes. There was a lull in that game where I don't want to say we took our foot off the gas, but we may have relaxed a little bit. Um, and then, you know, when the backups went in there, there was a little bit of a lull in the game. So we have to learn to finish a game. Finish the first half better than we did, finish the game better than we did. We have to finish. How impressed were you with uh, Jackson Ambush get, leading the team in tackles in his debut as an owl and yeah. uh, Derek Gerald's getting his first career interception? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jackson played really well. He, he really did it. He had a great game, um, made, made a bunch of plays, was very solid at 90% assignment grade. So really, really pleased with how he played. And Jared, yeah, he had a big interception, made some tackles. He missed a couple. So, you know, there's room for improvement there. But those two guys really held down that Mike linebacker position very well the other day. So I'm happy about that. And Eddie played great at will. 
Um, and then, you know, Des went in and did a really solid job, and we got Jalen in there, he made a play. So happy with the linebacker group. We're coming along just nicely. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Good. Thanks, guys.